welcome or welcome back. My name is Natasha and I am on a quest to improve my life in many facets. Um, weight loss has been one of the main focuses on this channel, but I also want to just improve my overall well-being and improve just like happiness and quality of life. So maybe let's determine and call this a health and happiness quest. How about that? I like it. New phrase for 2023. So yes, this is my 2023 kind of, you know, let's look at 2022 and then 2023. 2022 was absent from here for quite a while. Did make some changes, got a new job, other life things, but there's still things I want to improve and kind of work on in 2023. I do not have a word. I do not have specific resolutions for 2023, but let's look and kind of see what, what I want to do. Weight loss has obviously been kind of a big one on this channel. Um, do I have another weight loss resolution to lose a goal this year? Again, I'm not going to call it a resolution. Would I like to lose weight in 2023? Yes. Is it going to happen? Yes. How much? We'll see. <laughs> I would like to add a minimum, but again, who knows what's going to happen. I would like to get below 220 pounds. Does that seem like a lot? No. But last time I was trying to lose weight, like I just barely made it to get into the 20s. Like I was like 28 and like it, the weight didn't at that point seem to want to come off. So I feel like if I break that kind of like plateau of getting down past the 230s and into the 20s, I think that would be wonderful. Would I love to see Wonderland? Yes. We'll see if that happens though. So. so I don't want to put, that's my thing with resolutions and sometimes I feel like that resolution can be a little bit too much and too vague or too much pressure. So again, I'm being sort of vague again, but I would like to lose weight. I would like to get under 220. That's going to be my goal this year. So along with that kind of goal in mind, or at least like stepwise goal, uh, we need to know where we're starting at. Um, so this week I weighed in at 236.2, meaning from the last weigh in, I lost 0.4 pounds. So I lost again, even during the holidays. Was I the best during the holidays? I wasn't horrible, but I did indulge a little bit. Um, <laughs> friends Christmas that we had was delicious. Besides the meat, it was all just like this corporate casserole, which is drenched in butter. This this potato salad gratin, drenched in butter and cheese. Delicious. <laughs> Same with the, the cornbread. Also has lots of cheese in it. And then the stuffing, which is all sorts of other... Like, so, most of those food options weren't great. I have... I had leftovers from that. And then, I feel like it's a thing. I don't know if it's true or not, but whenever I eat not great i then keep craving those things and it's harder to get back on the the healthy when i'm eating the healthy it's like fine especially like if i like in a tiny little bit of like oh well you know one little bit is of cookies or some sort of something sweet or something not as healthy is fine but when i do it repeatedly i just kind of keep wanting to do it so managed to knock that out and we're back on eating healthy and probably besides weight things that I want to I don't know achieve coming up kind of goals mini goals on things one thing is just get out and do more things especially after COVID and stuff I realized I'm a lot happier when I'm out there doing things and out there seeing people and interacting more like I thought I was more introverted than I am apparently and I just need to I just need to go see different things and get out there and just change of scenery so one of the things that I really want to do which people have already talked about on their channels because we're gonna do it together is rock climbing um so I'm gonna try to do rock climbing and I'm gonna try to do um a ropes course 
within this year with some friends. It's going to be great. Um, there's a couple other like exercise experiences that I might have done in the past, but I want to revisit um, partially just to like mix it up and have fun. Um, and partially, you know, you, you're making it a, a fun workout. Um, so will it, those be things I do regularly? No, but they are things I want to do to have content for you to just go kind of have fun and mix it up for myself. Another thing that has kind of become more of a lifelong thing at this point, I guess, um, but it is national parks. Um, now, while I enjoy, as you have seen, going to smaller parks um, around my area, I also really enjoy going out to like some of the bigger parks, not just national parks, but also state parks or just bigger wildlife areas, wildlife nature. Get away from people. It's great. <laughs> but there's usually a lot of people at the national parks. But I got this on my most recent trip up to the uh, Pennsylvania, Baltimore vicinity. And I've already been to a, a decent amount. Not a lot. There's still a lot to go. But um, so I'm trying to mark off all the ones I've been to. But one of the places near me, and we'll see if you can see it, sort of near me, which wrong direction is Big Thicket National Preserve. Um, it's fairly close. I think it's like an hour and a half drive. So I could probably do it in like a day trip. It might be nice to extend, but we're gonna currently just plan on a day trip. Um, and then also there's a bunch of carnivorous plants there. So there is this, this is kind of how I found different places to go. As I was just looking at the Google photos that pop up when you're like, click on this park or this park when you're just like looking at the map. And there's just like a giant field with pitcher plants, just like all over the place. There's this cute boardwalk that goes down the middle. And I'm like, yeah, I need to go see that person. So um, I believe according to their website, March, April is the best time to go when they're in the biggest like bloom. You can probably see them like throughout the year, but if you want like that big, impressive, there's just so many of them, March, April. So someday in March and April, I'm gonna go do that because I want to. So yeah, weight loss is a goal that I have in general. Um, also going out and doing more things, whether that be the fitness and kind of exercise, adventures that I've talked about on here, but also just other things where I go out and I go do things and I just, get out of my comfort zone a little bit, go try new things, just go explore and have fun just to do it. I hope everyone has a great new year. I hope you achieve all of your goals that you have, fulfill your word or theme as I've heard some people do. And I hope it's a great year. I hope it's a great year. 2022 seemed like it was not great for a lot of people. So I hope that this year we make it all our year. It's going to be great. And I hope to see you on this journey uh, as we find health and happiness in 2023. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.